Kelly's connection. They're all set 1,400 metres. Number of runners restless inside the gate, settling, and away they go from the 1,400 metre marker. Towards the inside, that's our goal. Moonlight becomes you. Brown Sugar's right there. Triple O Sevens in the orange. Crest of Pulls has run up into fifth. That's about three lengths off the leader. Imperial Wish with a perfect run along the inside running rail. Then comes Winter Glory. Winter Glory race is about six lengths off the leader. Then Ingersard. Gemstone Glamour's on the outside. And at the back is Shelley's Connection. And Shelley's Connection racing about seven, eight lengths off the lead. They move towards the 700 metre marker and Moonlight becomes you from Brown Sugar. Crest of Pearls moves up into third. That's our girl is back at the rail. Triple O seven is in the orange on the outside. Gemstone Glamour. Imperial Wish in the red is near the rail. Then comes Winter Glory and Shelley's Connection, the trailer. Top of the lane, Moonlight becomes you the leader. Back in second is Brown Sugar. Crest of Pearls on the outside. Imperial Wish is going in for a run. Winter Glory is running on. Inger's artist towards the outside and is still Brown Sugar the leader. Brown Sugar now takes it up. has gone clear. Winter Glory. Inger's arch running on from behind. Down the inside, Shelley's connection. Brown Sugar goes. Winter Glory. That's how girl tries to run on. But Brown Sugar continuing on. And Brown Sugar has won it. Second place will go to Injazar. Then came That's Our Girl and Winter Glory ran fourth. Well, a stable that's also bang in form. Brown Sugar, the daughter of Dynasty, Keegan DeMello for Brian Bernard, bred by Kiat Stud. And Brown Sugar records her second win from just six outings. And she wins it well, Gavin Finzale. So Brown Sugar wins it by about one and a quarter lengths. Inger's Art will run second. That's our girl back in third. Fourth position will go to Winter Glory. Further back in the run is Imperial Wish, Triple O Seven, Shelley's Connection, Crest of Pearls, Gemstone Glamour, and further back, Moonlight Becomes You. We'll take a look at that head-on shortly. They spread right across the track, and Brown Sugar with the white nose band in the middle of the course. Immediately behind that is Winter Glory. On the right is Inger's Art. That's got the green sleeves. On the left, Imperial Wish and Shelley's Connection. But Brown Sugar continues to go, and Brown Sugar wins a good contest by a length and a quarter from Inger's Art until the running of race six. Back to the studio. Got to say a sweet victory for Brown Sugar, Brian Bernard and the family. They're going to be absolutely over the moon with this performance. Not much to look at. She's quite tiny, but she's got the heart. Yeah, you're quite right. She's a very small filly. But, um, you know, when I, when I think of Beach Beauty, uh, I always think, well, maybe there'll be another one that's small with a big heart. Obviously, we don't ever believe we'll be as good as Beach Beauty. Um, but we certainly are very thrilled to have this dynasty filly. And one, you know, two in a row like this is fantastic. Um, you know, a special thanks to Andy Williams, you know, he bought her and um, uh, we missed her and we went in the next day and asked him if we could buy it from him and he, you know, he, he, he gladly sold us uh, the filly and he didn't, uh, he didn't squeeze Brian for too much of a profit and we appreciate that and well done to Brian Bernard, he's really been very, very uh, loyal patron and uh, been very, very lucky as well and another good one. She's won a, a very decent race in amongst this sort of company so... You know, I said to Brown before the race, if she can win in this sort of company straight up out the maidens, she might have a chance in the Starling Stakes. Not the Starling Stakes, I, I think it's the Starling Stakes on, uh, on uh, Emerald Cup, uh, not Emerald Cup Day, um, Ready to Run Stakes Day, um, Empress Palace Day. Um, so there's a 1,400 metre little feature race we will probably aim her at there. I think she's a really nice filly over 1,400 metres and there's lots to come here. I'm sure she'll give Brown and his family a lot of fun. Well done, we'll watch her progress. Thanks, and I'd like to congratulate my son Gareth while I've been away on holiday. I'm still having fun. He's keeping the fort going. He's doing a fantastic job for us, along with the, the people that help him at the stables, Jessica and Open Sea, as well as Billy, and a fantastic ride by Keegan. He's riding very well for us. We uh, really appreciate the way things are moving ahead, and uh, hopefully it can go from strength to strength. Well done. Thanks a lot. Keegan DeMello, the man who's brought home brown sugar. Very, very competitive race. How did things map out for you? Yeah, you know, I always wanted to follow a horse, you know, and um, 
I thought we'd go a bit of a bit, uh, stronger gallop in front, you know, and um, she was pretty relaxed where she was, so um, I, I was pretty happy where I was, and um, she quickened well off the pace, you know, and I'm just glad she's she's come to win back to back, you know. Um, she was battling to win at one stage, so we're getting a bit worried because she shows such good work, but I'm glad she's finally finding the winning formula. Well done, good day thus far. Yeah, you know, um, still got a couple more to go, so um, just thanks to Uncle Brian and his family, you know, staunch supporters of mine, and um, to all Mr. Van Zell team, well done, Gareth, Open you know, we've been keeping the stable ticking over nicely, so um, just well done to everyone, it's a big team effort. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Sheldon. Let's get Brian Bernard into the picture, a man who really loves his racing, and all we can say, this was a sweet victory. Very sweet, uh, Sheldon. Yeah, she's only two tickies high, but uh, half the size of this, uh, this, this place, really. She won an excellent race, yes. Watching that last 200 meters, they looked to come up and she gave another kick. Yes, in actual fact, I think it was at about the 150 when she gave that kick. And, and I've noticed in all her races, she doesn't like something to go to the front. She, she, she'll always kick if something wants to pass her. Yes, excellent win. Well done, enjoy the victory. Thank you, and well done to Gavin. And Gareth's been um, keeping the fires burning, so well done to him this time, not to Kevin. He's been on holiday. Well <laughs> Good, thanks. Well, there we have it, number nine, Brown Sugar, the daughter of Dynasty. Back-to-back -back victories in a very competitive race. Not much of her, but she makes it all up in heart.